This is the career frequency and the rest, rest are harmonics. Hello, George Lakovsky was a Russian scientist, philosopher and inventor who lived in the early 20th century. He is best known for his works on the multiple wave oscillator, a device he claimed could cure diseases such as cancer by exposing cells to a combination of radio frequencies. While his ideas and theories have been widely discredited and are not supported by mainstream science, some people continue to use his work as a basis uh, for alternative medical treatments. Other benefits, according to his claim, are cell revitalization by increasing the oxygen supply and the nutritional value of the blood, activation of the body's self-healing power and increase the general uh, well-being, uh, pain therapy, detoxification and elimination of harmful sub substances, autoimmune disease and other conditions. Uh, Lakovsky's machine work on a different angle of principle to rives. It did not attack the microbes directly, but reinforced the vitality of the organism by accelerating cellular oscillation. It was intended to re revitalize the oscillations of your normally healthy cells. It was therefore the reinforced organism that successfully resists the microbes and all pathogenic co causes. Uh, the machines discharge high voltage that gives off electromagnetic pulses with, a, with an emphasis of producing the greatest number of widest range of frequencies, harmonics as possible, but it cannot maintain one steady frequency, which was what Rife was doing to resonate a microbe to death. Uh, the multiple wave oscillator machine generally consists of two parts. First is the high voltage and, and high frequency generator, usually is a standard Tesla coil, uh, and other part is a specifically designed antenna. The first part is the Tesla transformer, which at that time was of the spark gap type, but in this case I will use a super simple single MOSFET Tesla transformer because it is a simpler to make and performs the same function. The way, the way you can make such a Tesla coil is described in one of my previous videos. The oscillation frequency of this type of transformer is in the range of several, several hundreds kilohertz to a few megahertz. According to Lakovsky, the unit should emit electromagnetic radiation in a much wider range from 1 hertz to 300 gigahertz at the fundamental along with many harmonics and subharmonics. Just to mention that the antenna is made according to the Lakovsky's original drawings. It is allegedly achieved with the help of a specifically designed antenna consisting of uh, concentric rings forming electrical dipole antennas uh, having capacitive gaps uh, opposite each other by 180 degrees called Lakovsky antenna. In this experiment, I will try to examine the claims from a technical point of view. For this purpose, I will use a SDR Play software defined radio with appropriate spectrum analyzer software SDR Uno. The frequency range of the spectrum analyzer in this case ranges from a few kilohertz up to about 2 gigahertz which is quite enough to check if the device has the features described previously. This small antenna serves to, serve to receive the signals emitted by the device. First, let's look at the amplitude frequency characteristics of the Tesla transformer itself. According to the components used, I calculate that the resonant frequency of this Tesla transformer should be around 600 kHz. This is the career frequency and the rest, rest are harmonics.
Now let's analyze the spectrogram. Uh, now the spectrum at 5 megahertz. These are harmonics. Uh, next at 10 megahertz. Uh, now at 21 megahertz. Two very weak harmonics. Uh, now at 50 megahertz. Extremely weak harmonics. And uh, at the 100 megahertz. There is no changes in the spectrogram. Maybe, maybe this extremely weak signals. At 200 megahertz there is no changes in, in the spectrogram. As you can see, already at 50 kHz the harmonics are quite weak. At 200 kHz we can no longer detect any harmonic. According to Lakovsky claims, uh, with his magic antenna uh, these signals should be broadcast at much higher frequencies even in the gigahertz range. Now let's set up the antenna and take measurements again. And now finally a short conclusion. First of all, let me mention that the measurements in these experiments are approximate and simplified, all in order to be more understandable for more people. In addition, I am not a medical per person and I will not make comments in, this, in that area, but only analyze the technical side. Unlike the Rife machine, which in a theoretical sense, sense is completely functional, here, the result is very different. Lakovsky claim, Lakovsky's claim is that the antenna radius a whole spectrum uh, in the area of the 1 Hz up to 30 GHz. As can be seen from the measurements, the radiation range of the Tesla transformer itself is up to 50 MHz and with the specially designed antenna with a very weak intensity up to 300 and 500 MHz, which is very far from the previously mentioned 30 GHz. Uh, the lectures on this subject uh, are very convincing and impressive, but there is nowhere to be found a video pro uh, proving this theoretical claim. I would like if it, uh, it if someone came across such a video to send a link because I am almost sure that those who believe in the functionality of this device will claim that I am wrong somewhere in the testing and presentation of the results.
Next, let me uh, clarify the original picture where Lakovsky is sitting on a chair between two antennas. The second antenna is absolutely no meaning in terms of the value of the frequencies that are radiated, but it just resonates at the same frequency at the transmitting antenna source. And in fact, the whole setup represents a wireless energy transfer device as I, de as I described in one of my previous videos. I want to say that the two antennas, unlike one, in a certain way only extend the radiation of the electromagnetic field. So, in general, this invention of Lakovsky is an ordinary Tesla coil, which instead of a toroidal top load, uh, has a so-called Lakovsky antenna, which by the way, according to my observations, slightly amplifies, amplifies the field in front of, of it, and somewhat increase the emitted frequency, thanks to the lower, lower capacitance of the antenna, which is quite natural and nothing new. Uh, unfortunately, there are many uh, so-called experts who, with the help of this and similar devices, devices cure all kinds of diseases for which today's modern medicine has not cured. Uh, also, I can't uh, even believe that some people sell at high prices small PCBs with a pattern of the form in the form of the Lakovsky antenna and claim that these and similar gadgets have a positive effects on the immune system and human health. 